Hello folks, Papa D here uh, coming to you again from Central Florida. Uh, just wanted to make a little quick update for uh, everybody. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we have uh, lost the great uh, grandfather of the uh, SpaceX booster fleet uh, due to uh, uh, bad weather and whatnot uh, returning from launch. Uh, booster I'm referencing is Booster 1058, which was most recently uh, had its 19th successful launch and uh, ultimately recovery. Uh, and that was the launch of the uh, Starlink mission. Uh, that was uh, Group 632 that launched on the 23rd of this month. Uh, took, I believe, 23 uh, Starlink version 2 satellites into orbit. Perfect launch, perfect recovery on uh, uh, just read the instructions. And uh, on the way back, apparently due to uh, bad weather, heavy waves, uh, the booster uh, toppled over and uh, was damaged beyond repair, destroyed. Uh, I don't have any pictures available that I've seen yet that have been made available to us. Uh, but unfortunately, booster 1058 is no longer in the fleet. And the streak stops at 19. We we were hoping for number 20 very shortly uh, after refer because they've been running. It all depended from 50 to 40 to 60 days on average refurb time. This one was 49 days refurb uh, from the previous launch, which had been uh, another Starlink launch that was uh, uh, took took place back on November 4th. So. Again, unfortunately, uh, the Starlink uh, mission was booster uh, 1058 uh, last. And uh, the moniker will have to be passed on to, I believe, 1060. Uh, but uh, we do understand that uh, they, SpaceX does not believe this will happen again. There will be any kind of a problem in the future. Uh, the new block has been upgraded. The landing legs have been upgraded, self-leveling. Uh, so it's highly unlikely we will get uh, a recurrence but you never know when these things are coming back on the on the uh, recovery barge uh, weather can can take its toll uh, or in this case it was I think uh, not out in the open it was closer to home uh, hope was home closer to Port Canaveral so uh, unfortunately not the way to end the career but they all have to end somehow so with that said uh, just one final note we do have a uh, big launch coming up, hopefully. That'll be on the 28th, a couple of days. And that's going to be the Falcon Heavy out of uh, the Cape that's going to be uh, uh, launching into orbit, hopefully, the uh, for the U.S. Space Force, uh, the uh, experimental space plane. Uh, that has been uh, scrubbed four times, I believe. So this will be fifth, and hopefully fifth time is the charm. That launch is going to be taking, like I said, taking place on the 28th at 7 p.m. That's Eastern Time uh, from uh, Canaveral and uh, I believe that's Slick 40. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. We will be carrying that live. I have posted a uh, preliminary live link to that uh, broadcast that will be coming up. We're going to carry that live. I'm going to uh, take the remote unit out. Uh, we're hoping it's a clear night because uh, from my vantage point, uh, roughly 60 miles from the Cape. Uh, it's any rocket launch is a show, as you've seen from my previous recordings and the previous posts. But uh, uh, a Falcon Heavy launch is is amazing, and uh, we've watched uh, a couple out there where clear as day, and you can you see uh, uh, the the main the launch, then you see the two uh, side boosters coming in for recovery. This launch will be the same. Uh, they're going to be recovering uh, the side boosters at LZ1 and 2. So they'll be coming back to base. Uh, I believe that the center core is expended because of where the uh, the uh, payload will need to go. I will confirm that. But definitely the side cores will be uh, attempted recovery at LZ1 and 2. It's always a great show. So uh, join us for that. Uh, looking forward to that uh, broadcast and bringing that to, to everybody. Uh, one final favor, I'll always ask, uh, 
please uh, subscribe and like the videos. Uh, looking forward to growing the page. Uh, and my goal in putting everything and putting the studio together was to uh, get a page that uh, uh, a channel that y'all could enjoy and see the videos of what's going down here in Florida. Uh, not just with SpaceX and not just Florida, but with uh, the space industry as it unfolds. This is a exciting time. And uh, as I've said in previous videos I've posted, uh, as, a, as a child of the Apollo era, I never could have imagined later in life when I get an opportunity to uh, help bring some of this information out to the public to have such an exciting time with so many providers and so much going on. Uh, we are looking forward to also uh, Starship. That's if all goes to plan and they get the F, F, uh, FA's approval, uh, we're looking at a launch in uh, probably as early as January. So just a whole lot going on, and we're look, looking forward to bringing it to you. So if you could subscribe, uh, that would allow me to uh, to kind of get some more things done, grow the page, and, uh, and uh, we're looking forward to that. And again, here in a couple of days, the page will be rebranded to match up with the website and everything else. Uh, so uh, yeah, it'll be formally uh, branded and uh, put out there uh, where I want it to be initially, which is uh, David Delivers Space. And if you get a chance, go out to daviddeliverspace.com. I've got a little blog out there uh, that I'm trying to keep updated, things that uh, don't... Uh, don't require a uh, an update, a video update. We can put a little blog entry to keep you all updated that way. So thanks again. Appreciate your support. Please subscribe. And uh, if nothing else, I uh, will be seeing you on the 28th for what we hope is going to be an exciting day. Falcon Heavy, U.S. Space Force launch. Take care, folks. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. See you in a couple of days. Bye-bye.